Hair gel. That is the topic today because we are moving into the summer months. People are going to want to pull their hair back into a ponytail and you're going to need that gel to hold it down. But if you pick the wrong hair gel or a hair gel with a terrible amount of bad alcohol, and we're going to talk about that in a minute, you could totally destroy your hair. And when the fall comes in, it's going to be broken and damaged and dry. So that's what we're going into today is hair gel. Hi, I am Stephanie Johnson and I help you get and achieve healthy hair. So if that's what you're looking to do, this is the right channel for you. And we're diving into hair gel today. But before I go into that, I want to tell you a story in what made me want to do this video. Um, I am a hairstylist. I'm sitting here in my office in my salon and I still do customers on a regular basis. And I had a client come in and I haven't, hadn't seen her in about a month. Now, when she, the last time she had come, I had put a few pieces in the front. Her hair is getting a little thinner in the front. She wanted to make it look thicker. So we put something called micro rings or some people call it micro links with some track hair in the front. It's really quite gentle. It was just temporary. She wasn't going to wear it long. And I think she had gone to a special event. Well, you know. She wanted to change her hair after the event, so she took the hair out and she decided to gel her hair back and put on a ponytail, which was fine and dandy. But then about a week after that, she got bored with it and tried to brush the gel out and then went to curl it. Like that is a killer. That is such a no-no. When you put gel in your hair, you have to shampoo it out. Like don't try to brush it out and then do another hairstyle, you are asking for trouble. So when she came in, I'm feeling her hair is like dry and brittle and I'm seeing that there are broken spots and I'm like, what did you do? And she told me, oh, all I did was um, I had put it in a ponytail and then I got tired of the ponytail. So I decided to curl it. And I'm like, you had gel in it? And she's like, yeah, I'm like, you can never do that. And you know, me being a hairstylist, I'm thinking, Everybody knows this, but evidently everybody doesn't know it. So I wanted to do this video and talk to you about using gel. So it was broken and we're going to have to start over. I had to um, give it a good trimming. I'm not going to say a cut, but I had to trim a lot off. Um, and I really didn't even go down to some of the broken spots because I would have had to take, you know, take her to a very short haircut and we didn't want to do that but she did learn a lesson and uh that's what I don't want you to do and that's why I wanted to talk about jail today I also had another client who was doing a wet bun now she had this long beautiful thick hair her hair is just naturally thick it holds curl beautifully, but it's a lot of hair. And sometimes she gets tired of it. And she was doing a wet bun. She would wet her hair in the shower, pull it back into a bun, put some gel on top and leave out like that in the summer. Well, the problem was, first of all, she wasn't using any moisturizer with the gel. And we're going to talk about that in a second. And then she was doing it wet, which is what you never want to do. You want to at least let your hair air dry a little. Hair is at its weakest state when it's wet. See, we have something called polypeptide chains in our hair. And when the hair is wet, you don't have three chains. When the hair is wet, two of them break down. So your hair is in its weakest state when it's wet. And then you're putting a product on it that has alcohol in it, which when it dries, that alcohol is going to, you know, draw the moisture out of the hair strand, which is going to cause more damage. So, um... Like I said, she had this long, beautiful hair. She was doing this wet bun. And right here in the center of her head is where she was breaking because she was putting the bun about right here. And uh, so I was like, uh, we're going to have to cut this off, girl. It is breaking. And she, she didn't want to cut it at first. And I'm like, you might as well just go for it. Take it off because if you try to wait it out, it's broken spots are like cancer. If you don't take care of it and try to cut the hair more even, it's just going to spread. That spot is just going to get bigger and bigger because that short hair uh, basically is going to cause the longer hair around it to meet it at its level. That's why split, uh, cutting split ends and getting regular trims are so important. But anyway, 
I'm not going to get off into trimming here. We'll talk about that in another video. But um, I told her you got to stop doing this wet bun. I said, you got to do it. If you, you want to do it, that's fine. But you have to do it dry. But her hair was so thick, it was hard for her to handle. And she wanted it to kind of lay down. So I told her, you can do the wet bun. That's fine and dandy. But the key is to use a gel with a low alcohol content. I taught her how to look on the back of the label and pick out these gels. Um, well, I should say ingredients. And so you can pick a good gel. So I want to talk to you about something called short chain alcohol. This is an ingredient that they put in most hair gels. <laughs> So I told her the key to a good gel for your hair is to pick one with a little amount of short chain alcohol or no short chain alcohol at all. And uh, she was like, well, what kind of gel is that? I'm like, hey, I don't know. I really don't use much hair gel. Well, I hope to soon because I cut all my hair off about five months ago and it's starting to grow back. And I hope to be in the spot in about a year where I can pull my hair back and throw on funky ponytails or buns or do twist outs. So that's where I'm headed. So now I am on a quest looking for a good hair gel. But at that time, I really wasn't using hair gel. So I never really looked around and I didn't have very many clients who was having problems with the hair gel. But, um, uh, Seeing her hair broken just totally broke my heart. But I told her what to look for. I said, you want to look out for these short chain alcohols and try to find some without it. Well, she did find one. And, you know, you need to thank her because I did not find this gel. But it was, let me see, I have it here, Fantasia Hair Polishing Styling Gel. Am I doing that? Yeah, I got to look at my notes here. Fantasia Hair Polisher Styling Gel is what she found. And it actually is alcohol free. Now she told me she had found this alcohol free gel, but you know, when she put it on just before she left, she would find that her hair would start to pop up or swell um, because uh, it didn't have any alcohol in it. So I told her what you have to do when you have these gels that have low to no alcohol in it, you have to tie it down and you have to tie it down for at least an hour. It's better if you can prepare yourself, put your ponytail in, uh, put your hair up in your bun, you know, before you actually put the ponytail on, tie it up and sleep like that overnight. Because this is what happens with the short chain alcohol, the hair, uh, it allows the product to dry quickly. So that's why, you know, you have some edge controls that you can put on and it'll hold your edges down right away. And then some you're like, it pops up like an hour later. That's because it has the one that pops up an hour later has a lower concentration of alcohol content in the gel. So it doesn't set as fast because it's the alcohol that causes the product to set. Now, you can still get that same hold, but when you put on these products that have a low or no alcohol in it, you have to give it time to set. You have to give it time to dry. And so, yeah, it can be um, a bit of a hassle for some, you know, because you might want to put some gel in your hair on the go, but it's better off for your hair if you find these gels, like the, let me look at it again, Fantasia Hair Polisher Shot. Uh, styling gel, I got that is a tongue twister right there, but that styling gel that has no alcohol, put it on the night before, tie it down, let it set, and you should make it the whole day. Now, if you do have a favorite gel that has a higher alcohol content and you find that your hair is dry, there's nothing wrong with putting some moisturizer on it first to give the hair some great moisture and then put the gel on now, one thing it might do is it may break down that alcohol a little bit. And so you'll find that if you put a lot of moisturizer on, it still might pop up, but just tie it down. You just don't have to tie it down as long. Let it set. And then you've, you're giving your hair an extra layer of protection. And when I say moisturizer, I mean like a moisturizing hair lotion, not grease. 
not Blue Magic or I don't know what other greases are out there because I really don't use grease, but it's not grease. Grease is not moisture. You want to use a liquid or I should say a lotion moisturizer. That's going to give you the best protection. You do not want to use leave-in conditioner. It's not heavy enough. It doesn't have enough emollients. And, and some people, I know many women who do that. They put on the leave-in conditioner and they're thinking that they're giving their hair some great protection. You're not. It's still just as exposed because that alcohol will eat that leave-in conditioner up so quickly. You have to have a heavy moisturizing lotion. And I know I go back to the old school, go get some Luster's Pink Moisturizing Lotion. That will do the trick. And then put your gel on, tie it down, let it set, and you're giving your hair a nice level of protection. And it will stay down and you can sport your beautiful ponytail. So everything that I mentioned in this video, you can find in the description below. I have my hair recommendations there. And tell me in the comments what type of gel that uh, you use and why you like it. And uh, if you're finding that it's making your hair dry or if it keeps it moist, share with the community because we all want to have healthy hair. So until next time, take care of your hair. Make sure you don't beat it up with short chain alcohol products and uh, you'll be on the road to healthy hair. See you next time.